An overnight shooting outside a Rochester bar has some people saying enough is enough. It happened at St. Paul and Andrew Streets just after 2 a.m. Wine and Sheba Clark spoke with a group who revisited the crime scene today to speak out against the violence. Sheba? Well, Alex, chaos, chaos pretty much erupted outside this bar overnight. Four people shot. One guy ran over. You know, this group I talked to say this is the morning before Thanksgiving. Something's got to change. It's not the nightclubs fault, it's not the owners, it's not drinks, it's not nothing. It's basically, who fault it is, it's our fault, it's everybody's fault, you know, for accepting this this long. Travis Williams says it's time for a change. That's why he and several people with a group called TMP 1013 revisited the St. Paul Street area this Thanksgiving. They came after hearing about what happened outside a bar hours ago. It's cold outside. I can be home with my family, with my child, motivating. But I'm here to let the city know that guess what? We can't just blow this over. Rochester police say they were called out to the area because people were fighting in a nearby parking lot. That's when someone started shooting. Four men were hit. One was seriously hurt and had life-threatening injuries. Now, police say the other three victims' injuries weren't as serious, but on top of all that, a car leaving the scene hit a man and kept going, and that victim had minor injuries. It's really time for us to come together, and we're going to figure something out. Now, this incident comes on the heels of a double shooting Wednesday afternoon. That happened around 2.30 on the corner of Colvin and Maple Streets. 24-year-old Stephen Killings was killed, and another man was seriously hurt. That was Rochester's 34th homicide this year, and this group wants to set a citywide goal to make it the last. We want to see if we can end this year with no more murders, no more violent, serious violent acts. Yeah, that's definitely a goal we'd all like to see. Now, police are still looking for suspects involved in both shootings and the person involved in that hit and run and Police are asking anyone who knows anything to give them a call. Alex? White and Sheba Clark reporting from our newsroom.